In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a new app that I've discovered called Andante. It's a practice tool for any instrumentalist who wants to keep track of their progress when they're practicing. Stick around to the end of the video. This video is gonna be like a first look tutorial and we're gonna be exploring this app together. So let's jump right in. Okay, so let's open up the Andante app and it's loading very quickly. You see like a violin, cello kind of shape. It says, welcome to Andante. And then we're gonna go to get started. And what are you practicing? I'm gonna be practicing violin. Continue on that. I'm gonna choose the violin as my icon. <clears throat> it says, welcome to Andante. You can start a practice session by tapping the music note button. You can also press and hold to manually add a session. Okay, so right off the bat, I see like stats and you can have like your, you know, how many minutes you've practiced. Um, it's kind of like a, kind of like the health app in the Apple iOS ecosystem. It kind of gives you an idea of how much you've practiced, you know, what's your mood during practice, you know, what's your focus like, and you can kind of track that in the app, which is pretty neat. You also have this journal here on the bottom right, and you could also using the bottom right circle app here, you can, um, you know, do whatever you want there. Let's say I have a journal entry. Um, as of this record, I'm going to say Monday practice session. Let's just do it that way. Good. And then let's say, you know, vibrato. Then I can do, you know, staccato. And I click done. Oh, and it's very cool that I have that entry here so that way I can keep track of my progress and let's go ahead um, let's see like let's explore other areas of the app I'm going to click on the top left corner which it says violin here and it has all sorts of you know different tools and settings um, let's click on the get on Dante Pro I wonder I'm curious to know what that is going to be like so there's a subscription of $4.99. Looks like it's not like a recurring subscription. You just pay $4.99 for the app. And then you get Andante Pro on all your devices, support the app and get cool features. Let's take a look at some of those cool features. Uh, you have unlimited profiles. Use multiple profiles to track every instrument, craft or skill you're practicing. Session notes, quickly jot down notes during or after your practice sessions, a drone tuner. Now this is actually kind of handy because I can't tell you how many times I recommend students to practice with a drone. And this is to help with their intonation, especially with the violin where you know you don't have frets on an instrument. So this is a, a really cool feature. Practice reminders, a journal folder so you can keep organized of what piece you're practicing and maybe keep track of what you've practiced in that specific piece. So that's kind of cool. And looks like you can export a practice log in a, in a spreadsheet. That's also really cool. And uh, I think the developer himself is a college student. I think he's a coder who happened to create an app to help musicians like us to really, you know, stay organized with our practice. So thank you so much for that. So let's go back to the original um, tool setting. So we have Siri shortcuts. Um, you can start practicing violin. Um, you can, you know, hey Siri, you can have all sorts of different stuff. Uh, it actually activated Siri. Let's remove the shortcut. Uh, practice reminders. Let's take a look at practice reminders. Oh, well, you, you, you can have practice reminders in the app. Although I don't know if upgrading it to a $4.99 subscription would help or $4.99 like purchasing the app would actually you know, help with the practice reminders. You could always just like set a reminder on a regular, you know, reminders app on Apple on the on iOS. So I don't know if you really need that feature. Um, exporting the practice log, you know, just as I said before, you can, you know, maybe see a spreadsheet. If you're really, really like trying to analyze your playing and how many minutes you've practiced, I think it's a cool exercise. I don't know if I would use it personally, but maybe if you're like working on your, with your teacher, if you if you have a student, for instance, that you're not so sure about like the practice habits and the practice regimen, then the teacher him or herself can really take a look at the practice log on that particular student, maybe make some comments, some suggestions on how they can improve their practice sessions. And then, of course, you have the profile, um, you know, name, violin, I can say Eric the violinist. 
Or do we just change that to have a more personable profile? Eric the violinist. And then daily practice goal. Definitely don't want to practice for 15 minutes. That's like too little. So I would maybe say, you know, two hours, 120 minutes. So I'm going to practice 120 minutes, default session title. And uh, I'm going to just, looks like it's all saved. So I'm just going to go back. And then, you know, you could have simple, simple support, like uh, contact me if you want to contact the developer for any things or issues that you have with the app. Uh, you could also review the app and, you know, the iOS store, which, um, you know, I'm not going to do right now because we're just looking, taking a look at it together. And let's go back into the uh, the, the main home page. Let's, for instance, create a practice session. So right now, looks like I'm practicing. Right now, it's, it's beeping and whatever. And I can try the drone tuner, but of course you need to, you need the pro. Um, looks like there's a metronome app here. That's really handy actually. If I wanna have a faster app, that's really cool. Great. And then let's say I want to, I want to stop the metronome. I just click on the bottom icon. Really simple. If, um, if I want to make a note, a session note, then I can do the bottom left or I can do, uh, the Hey Siri. Um, but looks like a lot of these features you don't, you can't access those features unless you really have purchased the actual app, the 4.99. I'm just going to click done. So it says I practice for a minute just for just for an example, practice for one minute. Start time was 1221 um, and I can select my mood based on this emoji. It just it just gives you like a smile like I'm just neutral. It was a bad practice or it was a terrible practice or I can even go to the right. I can have a smiley face or even a, a curvier smiley which tells me I had a really excellent practice. And then let's say, I'm just gonna say the right, you know, the second to the right, and my focus was, you know, in the medium. And then I could tap on my session notes. But again, you need the Andante Pro app. So let's just save the session. And this is what it looks like in the main menu once you've practiced. It kind of gives you that log of what you've practiced, which is really neat. And then let's go to the statistics over here. So you have one minute of total practice, one total session, your average mood is 4.0, average focus 3.0. And um, it shows you your practice log as if it was like the health app in iOS and iPhones and whatnot and iPad OS. So this is a really cool feature. Like I, I know that sometimes I like to keep track of my health in the, in the iOS iPhone apps just to kind of be sure like what if I'm on track with my blood sugar if I go on an appointment to my to my doctor and then I get all the test results in my health app that's kind of cool to have in my you know in my iPhone so you know why would it be different for practicing your instrument so that's one of the cool things about Andante so in order to get all the features you can get the app for $4.99 looks like there is no subscription which is a really nice thing I personally am not a subscription person. I like to just buy something once and kind of have it forever. And this is something that I'm actually considering to do. And maybe later on, if you're interested, I can purchase the 499 app. And then if you want to learn more, I can create another video for you guys to see what it's actually like. So let me know in the comments section below, is this Andante app something that you would use? I mean, personally, it looks like based off um, what I've seen, it's a really simple app to use. You have different goals that you can hit. You can track your data. You can keep a, a session log and like what you've practiced. I'm actually thinking about the timer itself. The timer itself can be a little daunting. I'm wondering if there is a way for the developer to maybe not have the the timer right in front of you because then the, the clock is kind of ticking, it's kind of daunting on you. I wish maybe if it's like in the corner or maybe like on the top of the screen and then you can maybe have 
different options to really choose from in the main menu, like during your practice session, as opposed to the icons below. I think that'll be a really cool feature to add in the Zandante app. So let me know in the comments section below. Is this something that you would get? Is it something that you would use? I want to get this conversation going. And if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Eric. I do a lot of violin content and videos such as this one. If you haven't done so already, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. Helps me out as a content creator to provide more helpful videos for you. Also, be sure to check out some other violin tutorials that I have on the channel right over here and right over here for you to take a look at. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.